Welcome to this edition of Contractually Obligated, the game show where we check out a bunch of smaller titles, usually, that I feel don't have a fit for the channel for a longer play. So instead, we check a bunch of them out rapid fire just to get a nice little slice of life going. Uh, the first game up today is Hello Puppets Midnight Show. Uh, while this loads, I will say that more times than not, I don't actually look into what the game is first. Uh, I just click play, I look at the Steam page, and we go from there. So I think I turned my controller on for this, or at least turns on the settings. Uh, no, okay, so we're gonna use the keyboard. Start high to seek. If there's a plot, who knows? We're just blazing through. All right, skip the tutorial. We got a sprint. We have creepy puppet family. All right, squat. No zoom in. Okay. Mortimer's hand beans first aired on October 11th. Created by Owen Gubberson, and one of the room's puppet pals been even better than the Muppets. So there's a creepy Mortimer puppet. As well as a bunch of other creepy puppets. Can't open both doors. Quick batteries and power on objects to help you. Put a battery in the PV then. Doesn't want me to. Alright, so we got one battery so far. Where are the other batteries? That's kind of that is kind of a neat way to do uh, door puzzles. is kind of spooky. Alright, exit puzzles, handy toy and crank machine. <laughs> wow, what a genius. I'm actually kind of digging this so far. I usually don't like these kind of games, but it moves smooth enough. Ooh, it's a How do we find top hats? You got a top hat. You ain't moving though. One, two, three. Oh shit. Ooh, I think I broke him with that one. That uh, actually made Riley, me jump. What have you done? What the fuck? Knickknack fucked me up. So did I make too much noise? Is that... Alright, 
right, so we need coins for the puzzle. That's kind of neat. There's a lot of cool layers to this. All right, that's that's sick. It's a crazy dude running around with a puppet. All right, this game's awesome. Good as new. No, no, father, father, what did I do? All right, I, li I like this. I, I generally like this. That was Hello, Hello Puppets Midnight Show. Uh, it's just a demo for now, so I'm not going to do it too much. But that definitely has a ton of potential. That looks really cool. A uh, good spooky game. Uh, up next is Super Magbot. It looks like some sort of shooter, perhaps. As always, there's probably a story. I ain't worried about no story. Let's go. Let's see what this is. Whenever a game loads the levels where it has like... This is on stage one with 30 options. I immediately just assume... Aim the magnet. I get what this is already. So basically I have two options. I have yellow, or not yellow. I have blue magnets to repulse up, and I have red ones to repulse up. So it's very, we'll call it Super Meat Boy-esque. Definitely a little pu uh, puzzly platformer. Try to speed run it for a little bit here. speeds. So we probably won't be getting there, obviously. But, I'm sure there's some crazy-ass puzzles in here somewhere. At that time, I did the opposite. I used attraction. Alright, I think it was that. Sometimes you gotta attract, sometimes you gotta reflect. Just like life. I get that to work the first time. Just gotta get extra close, I guess. Alright, what do you have to say? Oh, it goes the other way, okay. It's like a grappling hook. I mean, the fact that I could do this the opposite way really just speaks to my gaming skills. If we're gonna be honest here. actually kind of hard to remember which way is supposed to do what oddly enough oh fuck you blue blue Red. So it should be blue. Blue. Okay. We'll do one more here. So they're kind of decent about like. 
if they're gonna make you do two in a row, it definitely at least gets you a little repetition going. Where it's like blue, blue, red, red. These are, looks like we have uh, some collectibles to really show off our magnet magnetism skills. But that's okay. I've shown off enough. Again, that is Super Magbot. A very attractive platforming game. Ugh, get it? And finally up today is a game called Round Guard. I actually played a little bit of the, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. I actually played a little bit of this ahead of time. Uh, this is a Peggle roguelike. And you're saying that sounds crazy, Toby. And you know what it does? But it works. And that's probably the most exciting part. So obviously there's a ton of things on the left before we get started here. Uh, we have health, mana, XP on the left hand side there. Uh, your spin attack breaks through these gold pots, which gives you money. Uh, the red potions heal your life. The blue potions heal your mana. And to get through the level, you need to kill all the monsters. If you manage to get your little Viking guy, who's up in the little platform up there, on the platform that's at the bottom, you get a free re-attack or a free redrop or whatever you want to call it. Like Peggle. It's literally just like Peggle. So when you're smashing this stuff, you get some money. And then obviously, like I said, you do want to go for the kills. Uh, the enemies do hurt you. They do fight back. You just got to fight them better. So I don't have any magic left. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get to those guys in the middle. Not work how I expected it to. Good shot, idiot skeleton. Bad shot, idiot Toby. But in general, this game is actually pretty neat. Uh, as you go through, you actually unlock different items. Uh, different. So far, I've gotten some different swords or different axes. I think this guy has. And obviously, there's a second spot there for different uh, special abilities. That gives you something to look forward to. Uh, once you beat the round, you get to this very peggle-like ending where whatever slot you fall into at the bottom gives you a different perk. So five health for each gold pot devoured during gold lust. So now, when we finish it, I look at the map, you can see here we have a whole little path to the boss. Uh, like some of the other roguelikes that do the map, that choose your own adventure kind of maps, this is the same way. So left looks like a little goblin guy, and right looks like, like some sort of boss. So of course we're gonna go for some sort of boss here. I have a bad feeling it might take a bad bounce and go the other path. Good enough, thank you. Nope. There we go. Yes, it dances. Oh my god, look at this. That worked out 20 times better than I ever could have imagined. We got trapped and just murdered the boss. So at this point, it looks like the last thing we really have to do is just... I don't care about stats, effects. Okay, I know. I know. I'm poisoned. Something's wrong with me. Great. Yay, I'm happy! So I think we have to win it here. I'm going to die from that freaking poison. Who bleeds first, me or him? Looked 
like him. The poison did not overtake me. I got lucky. Uh, so before you leave the what, what the before you leave the levels like that one, uh, you can always bounce around and get some more gold if you want to. But now it's time for the Wheel of Wonders. Spin the wheel. Permanent max man at the start of each room. I'm very I'm very inspired. You got a gold quintupler. I had to think about that number for a second. Quintupler. Right? Five times. Complete the quest open the box. Ten skeletons. There's no skeletons to fight yet, and we're almost dead. So this will actually probably be the end. Couldn't have called it better myself. Wow, what a run. 240th. Is this some sort of final perk? Final slap in the face for losing? Alright, so permanent attack boost when an enemy is enraged. But there you go. That was Round Guard, a roguelike uh, puzzle game. So thank you for watching this episode of Contractually Obligated, the game show where we check out a bunch of smaller games. I just do quick little looks of everything just to get an idea of what all else, what else is out there right now. Uh, thank you for watching as always, and I will see you next time for more puzzling fun. Waits.